Host Bus Bus Stop. Hello and good morning. JP Hussey here of the Hussey Team Mortgage Advisors. I hope you and your family are well during this certainly weird time and during the holidays. Of course, if you need anything related to anything, please give us a shout. We're here to help as best as we can. Uh, three things for you guys today. First thing, be on the lookout for early 2021. We are going to do our first Huspus hunt. Basically a scavenger hunt, right? This is where we want to bring awareness to all of our small businesses in our local area. So what we've done is we've partnered with about 10 or 15 businesses uh, in and around Conshohocken, in Pennsylvania. And what we're going to do is we are going to place, the lighting's the, not good today, there it is, Hus Bus Magnet in all of these businesses and then one special golden Hus bus magnet if you can see it there like the golden ticket Willy Wonka style um, and we're gonna give people like a treasure map they can go to these businesses of course COVID friendly right we're gonna make sure of that we've talked to our businesses and we're gonna put some rules in place but you have to go find these you'll probably have to take a selfie with it you're gonna have to prove you were there um, we're still working on it but the, the team or the person that finds them all first will get a prize um, and then whoever finds the Golden Hus Bus will get in another prize. All right, so we're going to have some fun with this and really make sure we can bring awareness to our small businesses in and around us because um, they need some help. We always need help, um, but this really just is a really fun, cool idea that we want to put into place. Um, and so look out for that, all right? If you want to get involved, you're going to have to let us know. You're going to have to get on the list, and, and we'll figure it out. So be on the lookout for a Hus Bus hunt. All right, number two. We are going to be starting early 2021, the Hus Bus Road Trip, trip with two Ps for my son, Trip. Um, this is going to be a podcast, all right? So this is where, listen, we are a mortgage company, of course. We're in real estate. We do all that fun stuff, but I really want this to be super open-minded. This is where myself or Nick, whoever, is going to host this podcast, and we're going to speak with really whoever. We want to talk about anything. We want to talk about anything on your mind. I want this to be a real conversation, all right? I want this to be as pure and as real as possible. Sure, we might talk about what our, uh, our podcast person, uh, what their business is. We can talk about that. We can talk about their life. We can talk about any tips uh, or tricks to get through life, really anything. I'm really excited about this because it's so. It's, I want it to be so open-minded. It's going to be actually, hopefully, enjoyable to listen to. It might be an hour, uh, two hours long, whatever it is. Um, I hope to have really uh, a lot of fun with this. Uh, uncensored, unedited for the most part. You know, we'll cut out my stupid face every once in a while if we need to. Uh, but I want this to be pure. I want this to be a talk with people that I like and trust and I genuinely want to talk to. So look out for the Hus Bus Road Trip podcast. Third thing. I want everyone to be careful. This is a little bit more serious, right? Um, starting to see uh, some articles out there about there's going to be a lot of foreclosures coming about in uh, early 2021. A lot of fear mongering out there. Of course, you got to be careful what you read, right? Um, but they're saying there's going to be a lot of foreclosures coming soon, all right? This is really because of when COVID hit, um, if you own a mortgage, Right. They are. Uh, I won't get into the crazy detail. Hit me up if you want to. But you could have had uh, forbearance where their uh, lenders allowing you not to make your mortgage payments for a certain amount of time. Right. But of course, nothing is free. OK. So what they're saying is, especially if you have a conventional loan. Right. If you don't know what type of loan you have, ask me. I'll help you out. Um, but. You didn't make your payments, they're allowing you to put them onto the back of the loan or set up a kitty or an escrow account with that money there that needs to be paid off once you um, uh, sell or refinance your property, right? It comes due. It wasn't just, hey, we're skipping our payments, right? Um, so if you have an FHA loan, what we're seeing is they didn't allow that to occur, uh, occur. So a lot of people have missed their payments, right? and they didn't make them their credit wasn't affected right for them, their score wise but that lump sum of money is coming due so of course if you had trouble making your payment and then you have this big lump sum due payments coming about it's going to be even tougher right 
So what they're saying is all of these payments keep adding up and eventually people are going to foreclose and they're going to lose their home. All right. Here's the situation. I want you to educate yourself. This is not like it was in 2008, 2009. Back then, right, the economy basically crashed due to the mortgage industry and to the real estate industry. This is because back then guidelines were very, very loose. All right. So what happened was you would get a mortgage. It was very easy to do. It may have been some crazy adjustable uh, rate type mortgage. Right. And they would label that as an A plus loan. All right. But it was really like a D. So it got sold on the secondary market. They were all grouped up and then those loans didn't perform and then it crashed everything, right? Because mortgage-backed securities, it's all in the stock market, okay? So there were, it's very risk-based mortgages, right? So in today's world, it's not like that. If you've gotten a mortgage recently, you can tell it was pretty hard. There was a lot going on, super risk-based, right? So the mortgages that have been given out in the past, you know, seven to 10 years have been much, much better, okay? So these mortgages are going to perform for the most part. Of course, there's some fallout. We get that, right? Also, values are, are legitimately higher right now. Back in the day, there was some false values out there, and then everything crashed, and it was a whole nightmare, right? So the mortgage industry and the real estate industry, in my opinion, is very, very strong. So here's the situation. If you, your family, your friends are struggling right now, they were in forbearance, they think that, uh, they're, they're going to have to come up with this lump sum payment, you know, just to keep their house, right? Here's what I would suggest. Get with your real estate agent. Call me. Uh, I'll help you out. I'll point you in the right direction. Values are high. We need more inventory. You can sell your house before it forecloses. You foreclose, all your money is gone. All that equity is gone, right? The bank's going to take all that. You sell your house, you can make, maybe make some money, get rid of that house, and then start fresh. There's ways to get out of this. Be careful what you read. That's my opinion. Uh, seriously, get someone to educate you. This is what I see. This is my opinion, but I really do think we're going to be fine. The industries are stronger and there's ways to get out of this. So make sure you be careful what you read and talk to a professional for your specific situation to get yourself figured out. Of course, if you guys need anything at all, please hit up myself, my family, my team. We're here to help. JP Hussey, Hussey Team Mortgage Advisors. Have a great day. Post, 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 stop.